Exercise 8.1, question number 6. If angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B, then show that angle A is equal to angle B. To solve this, let us consider a triangle ABC in which CD is perpendicular to AB. Let us consider a triangle ABC in which CD is perpendicular to AB. Now, it is given in the question that cos A is equal to cos B which implies AD by AC is equal to BD by BC. Let's say this is equation 1. Now, we need to prove that angle A is equal to angle B. So, to prove this, let us extend a line AC such that Extendable line of AC and let's say this point is P. So in the figure we have extend AC to P such that BC is equal to CP. Now let's join these points so to prove angle A is equal to angle B we have extended AC to P such that BC is equal to CP. To prove angle A is equal to angle B let us extend AC to P such that BC is equal to CP. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, we obtain AD by BD is equal to AC by BC which implies AD by BD is equal to AC by CP by using construction we have BC is equal to CP. Now, by using the converse of BPT, by using converse of BPT, 
will get CD is parallel to BP which implies angle ACD is equal to angle C P B since they are corresponding angles corresponding angles let's say this is equation 2 and angle PCD is equal to angle CBP since they are alternate interior angles let's say this is equation 3 now by construction we have BC is equal to CP therefore angle CBP is equal to angle CPB since angle opposite to equal sides of a triangle let's say this is equation fourth now from equation two three and four from equation 2, 3 and 4 we will get angle ACD is equal to angle BCD angle ACD is equal to angle BCD let's say this is equation 5 now in triangle CAD and triangle CBD from equation 5 we have proved angle ACD is equal to angle BCD from fifth and angle CDA is equal to angle CDB since both are 90 degree therefore the remaining angle should be equal remaining angle should be equal that is angle CAD is equal to angle CBD which implies angle A is equal to angle B hence proved